Hello everybody, Adam at Flash Building here with part 5 of creating a PHP and MySQL newsletter and email blast application for your websites or your clients' websites. We've covered all these steps that are marked off with green check marks here in the previous lessons. In the last one we composed our newsletter body out of HTML and CSS and now we're going to write a PHP script that that newsletter body gets sunk into to make it dynamic. So that newsletter body that we created in the HTML and CSS is going into a PHP file. It's going to be rendered dynamically to send everyone that formatted email. Okay, no more talk. We work. Okay, when we last left off, this is what we created, the newsletter email body. And you can see it's HTML based with CSS inline styling. So we're going to grab that whole thing, control C. Now let's open a new file that I created on my own here. I'm going to explain it real good. It's called Blast Script. Now we have the index file, the one that has the form on it, which gathers the name and email address and sends it to the database. This one called Blast Script is the one that's going to be responsible for automatically sending the email to everybody, the newsletter. Okay, so let's open that one in Dreamweaver. Okay, you can see it's uh, 26 lines here not very much going on. Let me explain what it does. First we open the PHP tags then on 26 we close the PHP tag that way we have a nice PHP code block and the first thing inside of the block is we include once connect to MySQL file so we connect to our database right there and you gotta make sure you connect to your database before you start any queries so here we we put a query into an SQL variable there and the SQL query or the SQL string is select all from the newsletter database the newsletter table we have in our database where received equals zero which means this person has not received it whoever in the database has not received this newsletter yet because we're gonna have to stagger this thing uh, there's a lot of uh, server limitations out there for most people most websites you can only send so many PHP mail functions which is right here this mail function you can only fire that off so many times within uh, one day sometimes it's a thousand sometimes it's more sometimes it's less and also there's sometimes limitations on how many per hour so it's a good idea when you're writing an application like this just to make it work universally on all environments is to stagger it and I'm gonna stagger it by limiting it to 20 I'm only going to access 20 names from the list in the database at a time. But this script is going to fire off on a time-based interval. Because we're going to create something called a cron job. And a lot of people don't know what cron jobs are, but it's a way to automate scripts. It's a way to fire off scripts without having to go to the browser and run it in the browser it will just fire off automatically the server will access it and make it fire off and I'll be discussing cron jobs a little further in detail in the next part of this lesson so what we do is we run this SQL query and then we can run a while loop on that query and inside of this while loop is where all of we use the MySQL fetch array function to access all of these uh, selections, all the 20 selections that we gathered out of the database using this string. So in this loop is when they all come pouring out. And you can see this loop is nested on from line 5 to 25. That's where it closes right there. And everything inside of this loop will fire off pretty much 20 times for all of these 20 selections that came out so each time it loops we gather that person's unique ID which is not really necessary but I gathered it in case you want to use it I'm just using the email and their name so each time it loops a new individual email and name pair comes out of the database for each individual and then we have the mail body and I'm going to put this uh, body design into this variable here I'm going to do that in just a second. It's going to make our script a little bit longer 
but I don't want to complicate things just yet so you can see clearly have a visual idea of what's going on here <clears throat> so within the loop we're going to claim the mail body the mail uh, email subject the headers for the email which right here you put the from whoever you want it to be from and I just set newsletter at developphp.com and the content type which is text slash HTML you have to claim HTML if you want to use HTML formatted emails which we are using here then we claim the two variable which is the email for each individual will be dynamic each time in the loop and then we sync all of that into a variable actually we sync all of that into the mail function the PHP mail function which is all placed into a variable called mail result now we say if mail result is successful this if condition is saying if mail result is successful if you wanted to say is not successful you just put an exclamation mark there and that this evaluation reads if mail result is not set or is not successful it's not true that means if anything happened if this mail function was to fail this else condition fires off if it fails and I wrote here this else statement can be used to write into an error log if the mail function fails it can also just be removed if you do not need it by going like this but I'm gonna keep it in for you it won't hurt the script to have it in there at all so if mail result is true and they got the email blasted off to them that individual we set a new query to update the newsletter set received field the newsletter table received field is equal to one now because they have received the email and all the other individuals who haven't received it yet will still have a received value of zero and then they will be receiving on the next few blasts because this thing will be staggered out where email equals this person's email address limit one because you only want this query to fire off or you only want this query to affect one row so update the newsletter table received field to one where the email equals this person's email address limiting to one and that's all we have there so far now let's put this in all right let's grab all the email body from the previous lesson and now let's place it right there in between those single quotes for the mail body variable control V and there you have it so this mail body let's go to design view will be fired off dynamically to each person each of the 20 people in that in that section and what we're gonna do is say hello name which is a dynamic variable here and also there's a link with a dynamic variable with their email to allow them to opt out that's going to be in the newsletter body and it's a good idea to have in your newsletter so there the blast script is all set now what this thing will do is send the email to everybody only 20 people at a time and it'll be dynamic to where their particular name and their particular email will be rendered within the body it's a very simple script and you can also which I'm going to discuss in the next part and I might even program it in for you if you want to use it I might just throw it in because it might be a handy thing to have I'm gonna add one more query that's going to query the database here at the very end of this script and it's going to check to see if everybody received value is set to one that means everybody got the the email blast when it's all done the whole email campaign then I'm gonna email myself saying the campaign is over you can now create a new body design and do your next email blast in a week or a month or whenever it comes and so the blast script is now part of the files that are in the newsletter folder and really the only we only have three files that are part of the equation here body design is just a format it's not a really necessary file but it's good to lay out your design of how your newsletter wants to look and uh, MySQL quick test isn't necessary but I'm gonna keep it in here
So you can do your MySQL quick test like we started off in part one because that was uh, from part one. Okay, now uh, that's it. So in part six, and I've already tested this script, it works great. What I did was I went to my server, I put this online, I went to my server, and I navigated to this file online. And what it did was it sent out email to both members that were in my subscription list uh, successfully. And it rendered their name dynamically perfect, and it rendered their email perfect for the opt-out script. So in part six, what we're going to do is write the opt-out script, which is going to be a couple of lines. And uh, it's, it's a good idea to have that little little guy. And uh, then we might have a part seven, or maybe in part six, we'll just finish it all off and I'll discuss the making this thing automated by setting up a cron job. So you'll have options, you know, you can just go and fire it off manually. But the way I would do it is set up a cron job. That way it's all automated, and then it gets to the end of the campaign, emails you, say the campaign is over, and you know everything's done, everybody got it, happy day, bye-bye. I'll see you in part six.